out there today that my kids wanted to go to the beach after school. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it's great. I, I couldn't. I had to come to work. But they wanted to go. I thought you were going to say wanted to go to the beach instead of going to school. And I would understand they, that, too, They actually, actually asked to stay home. <laughs> I, will, I will be honest. They asked the first thing in the morning. And mom said, no can do. And mom said, uh, no. No, not no, a good idea. No, we don't stay home. We're finally in middle school. We don't stay home. Well, it's a pretty nice day today. Tomorrow's going to be even a little bit warmer. And then some rain coming in after that. Not a lot, but a little bit. So we've got to keep things green as long as we can around right. here. Hey, we had a fantastic-looking moon last night. And we got so many hits. On our Facebook page, on Twitter, and also at U Local. Like this one at U Local, Jasaro put this up there, the harvest moon coming That's up gorgeous, over Lake Champlain. It? Oh, it was just beautiful last night. It really was. Moon's going to look good tonight, too. Make no mistake. Maybe a few clouds late tonight, but generally speaking, we're going to be in pretty good shape out there. Not a lot in the way of clouds now. I mean, if you look carefully, you're going to find a few here and there, but mainly clear for a good chunk of tonight. I think we find a few more clouds mixing in toward dawn tomorrow morning. Hey, remember we were talking about the showers and thunderstorms right along the mid-Atlantic coast at this time yesterday? Well, it's offshore right now, so no big bother. I'll tell you where the bother is. As you come on out to the west, boy, flooding concerns. Flash flood watches posted all over the place, over by Chicago, and then points to the west from there for uh, many a mile. And then when you get into the red here, those are tornado watches going till at least midnight tonight. And this system right here with the showers and thunderstorms, this is the stuff that is going to be working its way toward us. All right, I've got some weather headlines for you here. We're going to find a few clouds mixing in late tonight, but for a good chunk of the night, it's going to be mainly clear. So again, the moon is going to look pretty awesome up there. Mix of sun and clouds and a warm Wednesday on the way for you tomorrow, meaning a little bit warmer than it was today. Here come the rain showers late tomorrow night and then into Thursday. Temperatures uh, in the 70s and the 60s for most of us. 75 Messina. Look at Saranac Lake right now at 69. We're in the 70s, right in the Champlain Valley, but a little bit cooler. Northeast Kingdom, places like Newport down to St. J. And we've got a 70 in Lebanon. How about 66 degrees in Rutland? But checking in with 70 degrees as you head on over toward Bennington. Well, here's the thing. As you know, we've got high pressure and control. To the south, we've got a system that is going to stay to the south, but this is the one we need to continue watching because this area of low pressure is going to come our way. The low itself is going to go to the north, but a warm front comes through, then a cold front is going to go through, and that's why we're going to find some rain showers around here and even the outside chance for a thunderstorm or two, especially on Thursday. So we'll continue to watch that for you. Future cast, 7 o'clock tonight. Not much going on. We'll take you right through the overnight. And here comes your tomorrow. Could find a little bit of fog in some of the traditionally foggy areas in the morning. Otherwise, we've got sunshine, a few clouds mixing in from time to time. But the thicker stuff is coming in by late tomorrow afternoon over toward the St. Lawrence River Valley because this is 6 o'clock at night tomorrow. Watch what happens late tomorrow night. The clouds are thickening up. Here comes the rain for drive time on Thursday morning. We'll take you through the day on Thursday. Mostly cloudy. Skies may be a little bit brighter by late in the day. And we are going to find some rain showers around. Not for tonight, though. Looking good. Clear, just a few clouds mixing in late. And the low temperature, 53 degrees. Well, here's the deal for tomorrow. A few degrees warmer than today. It's going to be pretty nice. A few more clouds mixing in as well. It's a south wind, 78 degrees. Burlington, 76 Plattsburgh. We're in the 70s from Montpelier to Rutland, even into Saranac Lake, where it's going to be 75 degrees. Five-day forecast. Let's bust this thing down for you. 78 tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, those clouds thickening up. Pretty good shot for rain showers by dawn on Thursday. So for Thursday, look for showers around. With a high about 74 degrees, most of the showers first half of the day. Skies may be a little bit brighter in the Champlain Valley in northern New York by late day. We'll watch that for you. By Friday, we're golden. It's getting cooler, though. A lot of sun, 66. On Saturday, could see a shower or two. Big Battle of Plattsburgh weekend coming up. Of course, we're going to be in the parade early that afternoon, 65 degrees. It's going to be a hit and miss kind of thing. Sunday, a lot of sun, 66. 66 again on Monday, perhaps a shower in there. And Tuesday, it's a mix of sun and clouds. And high that day, 65.